guys, check YouTube, YouTube, what's going on, guys? Check it out. The mud mower got some new front tires. And they are big. Let's see, this is like a car size tire. This is, uh, let me wipe this off. This is a 205 80 12, guys, which is a 25 by 8 by 12. Yeah, buddy, look at this view. Let me zoom this camera on, Sammy. Let me zoom that camera out a little bit. There's the other front one. We got the wheel off. And then look at the back tires. There's a 22, I believe, on there right now. Is a 22? We're going to a 25 by 10. Let's check out what size these are. What's that? That's a 255, 65 R12, which is a 25 by 10 by 12. Replaces, so it's it's similar. But man, guys, the mud bar is going to have over a foot. That's actually where the front end is going to be. Oh, no, I jacked it up a little bit taller, actually, now. It's a little bit off the ground, but that's close. I mean, it's going to be huge. These tires actually fit. They don't hit the fender wells, which is crazy. And, you know, it's a trans, it's, it's a live axle, so it doesn't move. You know, it doesn't go anywhere, so it's solid. Man, this thing is going to be sick, guys. Tell you what, John Deere LA-115. We're working on the exhaust, too. Um, let me pop this open real quick. Sorry, guys, I don't have my tripod. I apologize for this crappy footage. Um, as most of you guys know, you know what I'm saying? Life ain't easy sometimes, you feel me? <laughs> Well, we got the header turned up. The exhaust used to go straight down into that muffler right there. So we uh, we cut it, bend it out of the way, and it's gonna come out. Um, let me close this. It's gonna come out around, around the hood right here, and then straight up right here. We're gonna come up to about six foot, I think. Cause you know what, guys? This thing's going through the pond. Been telling y'all I'm gonna do it, and by golly, this thing is going through the pond i promise you we got them welded on wheels so i couldn't get the footage on this guys like i said i don't have my tripod well we got them things welded on there and they are true to the bone let me see if i can get it up high enough where to these dang front ivy maxes i can't jack it up to spin it oh ooh, 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 ooh. sitting on my steering arms and shit let's see all right i think we got it up high enough huh is that not true sorry it didn't spin Look at that view, guys. Tampa Boys Customs, guys. I'll tell you what. About to do the other one next. All I do, guys, is set these rims in here like this. This tire is leaking. It's got a bunch of dirt in the beat. I got to get out still. We just set them in there. You get you some kind of something that's even. Like I used a, um, a socket, big ass socket, a 32 millimeter, and just go all the way around. Make sure it's the same. You know, it's right in the center. Put your tack on it. Check it. Make sure it's good. If it's not good, redo it. Pretty simple, guys. Anybody can do this stuff, man. So I got a cigarette hanging out my mouth. Can't talk right. <laughs> you see it, guys? Damn boys, customs, man. Got that John Deere back out here killing it. This is a great machine, man. I love this thing. I can't wait to drop it off in the pond. That's gonna be so much fun. We got Hong Kong sitting over here chilling. She's running. She's ripping. Um, I gotta move the intake. See the intakes getting into the, see all that right there? That's the tire getting into the filter. We don't want to tear that expensive filter up. So, um, honestly, the easiest solution I see for this, besides 90 in the filter out or anything, is just add a link to the chain and uh, move the move the motor forward, you know? Get it up more forward off that tire. So, I think that's a pretty easy fix. I was just looking at it, checking it out. So, that's pretty simple on that. This thing's going to be racing at the TBC 100, guys. Yeah, buddy, we got the big truck over there chilling, you know, just hanging out. It was covered up when I left yesterday. As you can see, it's not covered no more. Oh, actually, we moved it. We rolled it. That's why. I had to uncover that chain. We got all the other bikes coming covered up. Feels like we got some rain coming, maybe. We don't want everything getting wet, man. All right, guys. Well, I'm going I'm to weld up this other side. Um, The back wheels. I've already, oh, let me show you this real quick. You can see it's got that four bolt pattern there. Well, I've already put these four wheeler hubs on it and they're just a tad bit bigger. They're not, I mean, they look a lot bigger, but they're only a little bit bigger. So I just have to waller these holes out a little bit. I know it's not the right way, guys. And just waller these out just a little bit, like into there on each one and then it fits. So I don't know why it looks so much wider like that though. It looks huge. But when I hold them up there, it's not that bad. So 
we'll get those on there next. Um, probably won't be today, be another day. I got a lot of real work to do. This is just my little lunch break I took to weld this thing up real quick. All right, guys, I'll, I'll try to get, I'm trying to upload videos, man. It's not letting me. I got one video that still says it's processing. Been uploading it since last night, so I don't know what's going on with YouTube. But I'm trying to get the videos out for you guys. I promise, man. I'm definitely, definitely in here slacking, that's for sure. <laughs> All right, guys, you know what to do. I'll catch you on the next one. TBC out. Looks like a bad idea. Yeah.